Hey guys, it's Michael. We're over here in San Juan Capistrano, California at a supercharging station with this 2021 Tesla Model Y Standard Range Plus. Right behind me over here, if you can see it. We are charging that Model Y to 100%. And then we're gonna do some highway loops today. We'll be taking the battery down to 10%, not 1%, because once again, this is a rental. And it's not recommended to take the battery down below 10%. You shouldn't be charging a battery up to 100% either, but this particular owner is okay with that. The highway loops are off of Interstate 5 over here in Orange County, California. We'll be traveling at 75 miles per hour. It's about 80 degrees, which is good for this range test. So we'll hop on the highway right now as soon as it's done charging to 100%. So we're at 75% battery right now. We have driven 41.6 miles on 25% battery. It's not the most efficient, but we'll see how the rest of the trip goes. Traffic's been pretty good, been pretty smooth. We've been at 75 miles per hour for most of the time. And we're just uh, cruising in the carpool lane right now. And well, I will check back in with you guys at 50% battery. And we just hit 48%. At 48% battery, we've done 91.4 miles. The indicator says we have 113 more miles to go. I'm hoping we get at least 200 miles on this highway loop. The EPA says that this, that this Tesla, the Model Y standard range, can go 244 miles, but that's with mixed city and highway driving. So I'm hoping, once again, at least 200 miles on this, on this highway range test. We are at 25% battery. We've driven 134.7 miles. The indicator says we have 58 miles to go. So, uh, I mean, it's according to the indicator, we won't even hit 200 miles, which is not that good. We are stopping at 10% battery. Um, so we will not go the full range to 1% because as I explained earlier, this is a rental. So I will be stopping at 10%. All these highway loops have been good. Um, smooth, traffic hasn't been that bad. Been at 75 miles per hour most of the time cruising in the carpool lane. It's been good. It's still nice and warm. It's currently 81 degrees. So we'll see what happens when we get to 10% battery. So Nick. So the Model Y on, on the highway loop on the highway loop that I did, sorry it's it's really hot. <laughs> went 165 miles. Now that's on 90% battery from 100% to 10%. If you do the math it would have gone about 183 miles now the indicator when I plugged it in the indicator said 24 miles left which would have put it at 189 miles regardless it would have gone about 180 ish miles on on an entire highway drive all highway drive basically and uh, I was hoping it would get above 200 but hey that's just how it goes okay so we're here in the Model Y on an empty stretch of road and we're gonna do a zero to 60 run. Actually, we're gonna do two zero to 60 runs, one in this direction, one in the opposite direction. Right over here on the windshield, I have my specialist timing GPS gear, and that will be measuring this run. All 
5.4 seconds, not too bad. Now it's time to go the opposite direction. So let's go ahead and do it. Five point six zero seconds, a pinch slower than the five point four from before, but that's still plenty fast, if you ask me. Especially if you consider this is the slowest Model Y, and it's a compact family SUV. So I say that's pretty impressive. It's not so much a uh, a review video, but I'll go ahead and do a, a quick drive review on this Model Y. Fortunately, you know, I've uh, I, I've been able to drive a lot of vehicles, um, mostly mostly by when I worked at a motor train, I was able to drive all types of vehicles, expensive, cheap, SUVs, vans, cars, whatever, EVs, of course. So I have a decent idea of, of how cars should, uh, should ride and drive. This Model Y is very similar to the Model 3 in the sense that it has a stiff ride. If you're the type that likes a soft, comfortable ride, I, I don't think you're going to like this ride too much. But there's a good trade-off. Um, this thing pretty much drives like a sports car. It's almost like a, a sports sedan. It handles very well. And me personally, I'm okay with that trade-off. I'm okay with a stiff ride if, if the vehicle handles very well in this model. When you're on a rough patch of road or you, you encounter a big dip or a big bump, uh, you, you feel it. You definitely feel it, but you also hear it. You definitely hear it. There's plenty of NVH noise, vibration, and harshness in this in this uh, vehicle. Part of the reason is because the electric motors are inherently quiet, so you do hear more sounds. But there's a good amount of vibration and rattling over over rough roads. It'd be nice if Tesla, you know, did a little bit better job with that. Very smooth. You know, there's there's no transmission trying to find a gear. There's no turbo lag, there's no engine revving for power. You know, these EVs have instant torque and they just go and they're very smooth. So do I like driving this car around? Absolutely. And I like driving around most EVs.